It's a time, time to turn our back. This fun run that's coming up December 8th. The fun run is not tomorrow. It is a week from Saturday. It is the Jingle Bell Run for the Arthritis Foundation. And we have um, medical honoree doctor Brett Smith along with adult honoree Annette Moore giving you these titles. We appreciate <laughs> both of you coming on. Um, I know you. this is something near and dear to both of you. Um, Annette, look, let's start with you. Why are you involved? with the, the um, Jingle Bell Run and what do you hope others will learn from it? You know, for me being involved with the Jingle Bell Run, I really resonate with their theme around the power of yes. Mm -hmm. You know, yes you can. Because I know battling, I have rheumatoid arthritis, which is an autoimmune disease where my immune system essentially attacks my joints. And someone saying, yes, you can, mm -hmm. especially on the days whenever you really felt like you couldn't even get out of bed and walk. Um, is awesome and having an organization support that is fabulous for those who have it. I love you for being brave enough to, to come forward and help others because you're my age and I was just saying we're too young to have arthritis but it affects a lot of different people a lot right. of different ages and this is certainly something people can benefit from. And Brett it's not age related what should people be looking for as symptoms or signs that need to see a doctor about it? That's a really challenging question actually I think because it varies from age to age you can get kids as young as 12 months mm -hmm. all the way to people in their 70s 80s and 90s that develop arthritis pain stiffness swelling are the three probably predominant complaints people can be very fatigued with the joint symptoms uh, it really just depends on kind of old school medicine History exam are probably the most important mm -hmm. parts. So if you're having a lot of pain issues, very stiff, you think any, you have any swollen joints, it probably just needs an evaluation. Obviously the run helps with raising awareness, but also a fundraiser. Um, how does it help families here in our community? So there's multiple ways. One, it does provide funds for research. Mm -hmm. Also, they have a lot of different materials to help individuals know here are some of the symptoms, here are some of the things that you can do, here are some options that you have. Mm -hmm. So they have a direction in which to go. Yeah. And it's also really fun. Like people <laughs> dress up. Absolutely. <laughs> so do you register ahead of time then? That is correct. So next Saturday, that's going to be really great. And dress up. Santa's even out there running. Lots of jingle bells, lots of holiday festivities, certainly. And it's Saturday next weekend. Um, here's the information. You can register ahead of time. Can you register uh, day of? My understanding is yes. Okay. Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. I just want to know what outfits are you going to be wearing? <laughs> I'm in a full-size Captain America is what oh, I'm in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> heard it here first. I, I have three kids, and they'll all be in here, uh, superhero costumes I as well. And so will my wife. I, I love, love it. That. So, and I, I'm a fan of ugly Christmas sweaters, so I am most certainly going that route, and then whatever contraption I can find for my head that is equally it. as fabulous. It's worth registering uh -huh. just to see that. It is. <laughs> Thank well, you so much for coming in. Great fun. Certainly it. raising uh, awareness for a really great organization in our community. Thank you both. We appreciate it. Thank you.